If he takes a voluntary punishment, yeah, right, yeah, did he know that he was going to be saved? Did he know he? Did he know that he was going to be saved? Yeah. How was he saved? He wasn't saved at that point. It's just that death couldn't hold him. Did, death could not hold did him. Did he disappear from an existence? No. Right. He always existed. So, so it was just a transformation yeah. of removing a clothes from a your body, body, right? Not just that easy, because he felt everything. He let, felt let's the pain, let's, just like a human let, being let's feels anything. Let's understand so something. It wasn't that easy. You're making out like, oh, it was easy for Are him you saying do. God doesn't know how it feels to be crucified? He does know. Right. When did he know? Before the crucifixion or during the crucifixion? He, which what, depends on what, 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 what you mean, yeah? Well, you're, you're trying to ask, you're trying to ask. When does... In God's, in God's all-knowing wisdom, mm -hmm. does he know what it means, what it feels like, or does he know what crucifixion is? Yes, does God... Does, in his wisdom, in his information... So he knows how it feels. Knows, in his all-knowingness... So, so he knows it already how yeah, it feels. Yeah, but he didn't come down to experience wait, the feeling. Wait, wait, wait. He didn't come down to when experience you say the feeling. He experienced... So when you say experience... Yeah. So are you saying God experienced this feeling different to what he knew? No. So he knows exactly how it, he can experience? He knew how it was going to be, yes. Right, so it's irrelevant whether he experienced it or not. He no. knows how it feels. It doesn't matter if he knows it feels. If I know how it feels, but yet I know, okay, it's going to, like, I might know, okay, it's going to hurt if I put, uh, stab myself in the hand. Mm. But me actually stabbing myself in the hand is a lot worse than knowing how it feels. A lot worse? Yeah. So, I'm not so, during, it, I just know the so during crucifixion, yeah. God learned something new? No, he didn't. He just experienced you said it's the worse. crucifixion. He experienced the crucifixion. Okay. Yeah. How did God Before feel? That, he never experienced how did the God feel the pain? How did he feel it? Yeah. When he came down as a man, he's got nerve endings and everything else that shoots up to his brain and he feels it. Okay, that's how he feels pain? Yeah. So, this the feeling of that pain. Mm -hmm. Is God not aware of that feeling already? What do you mean aware of it? How, how this experience yeah. gives one a state of mind or state of understanding or yeah. state of you know, feeling, yeah. is God not aware of it already? Is he aware of the feeling like the pain? Are you talking about the pain and stuff? That, does he know how it will feel? No, does does, does he, he even have that feeling already before it happens? No, because he's not being crucified, but he knows right. it's going to be painful. Okay. He knows how so it God, will feel. So God learned something new? No, no. He experienced a crucifixion that he never experienced before. Okay. Yeah, so he experienced something. Sure. Yeah, maybe you could so say what, he experienced something. So new. to experience this, God, um, what did God do to experience that? He came remember, down as a man. So remember, God is God. Yeah. Yeah. And everything else besides God is his creation. Yeah. So God created something to have that feeling. What feeling? What feeling? What the feeling of crucifixion. He never did it so he can be crucified. No, no, no. God created a human flesh yeah. so that he can experience the feeling. No. He created a human flesh mm -hmm. so he can come down as a lamb to be sacrificed for the sin of no, the no, world. It wasn't a lamb that's that why, was on the cross, was well, it? That's why he created that flesh. Was it a lamb on the cross or a he human being? He was the lamb of God. The God, lamb of God. God created the human flesh of Jesus. Yes. Right? Yes. And through that human flesh that he created, mm -hmm. he's experiencing it. He's experiencing the, the pain. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So he experienced through his creation. Yeah. So God experienced... The flesh, yeah. yeah. So remember, just yeah. think what you're saying. Yeah. God created his creation and through his creation he experienced that. Yeah. Okay. So there are many things that according to this understanding God hasn't experienced. No, not really. No, of course, there's things that he hasn't he doesn't do. God doesn't need to do it. He knows what it's about, but he doesn't need to do it. It's not you know about I mean? me. It's like, so it's you, like walking a dog. So does, does your God does your God, yeah, does he know what it feels like to walk a dog? God knows every feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly, because he's the one who that's created exactly, the feeling. That's exactly. So he doesn't need but to walk does, a dog. Has he walked a dog before? Has so he walked a dog? So that's why. It's, but he knows so how now to you're agreeing that's with exactly, me. That's exactly so what you're now agreeing with me. Yeah, he knew about the crucifixion. No. He knows how it feels. You are agreeing else, with me that before. God doesn't need to walk the dog or to get killed in a crucifixion. No, because no, he knows no, that already. The crucifixion was planned for him. Yeah, by the Jews, by hmm. the, told the Jews, he told the Jews and okay. everything else that he is going to do okay. this. Okay, so I have, that, I have that's a, his plan, that's his salvation plan. So 
So that I have a question. I have a question though. Go ahead. God created the creation, the human flesh, yeah. which is not God. Clearly, that's his creation. Not, yeah. That's his creation. Yeah. So it was the creation that was crucified, not God. The, it was it was the blood of God. Uh -huh. At the end of the day, wait, God, wait, wait, wait. God fell. God, Slow, God slowly, fell that body. Slowly, that body, slowly. That body, yeah. When that God, body yeah. has nothing to do with God's being. Of it is because his, his being is inside of it and his wait, being is connected wait. to it. His body, his being that is body that is body. God's creation. The flesh is, yes, the flesh. Right. Yeah. Who experienced but it's the person body. who's inside the body. Who's inside the body? Who's inside the body? Who's inside the body? Yeah, who is inside the body? God. God? Yeah, God is inside the flesh. You understand? Uh, no, I don't. Because the God is inside the flesh, so therefore, whatever is happening to the body, yeah, God is when, connected to it. When you say God was so inside God's the flesh, flesh. It's God's when flesh you say God was inside the flesh, yeah. and the same person is saying, Oh God, help me. He's not saying God help me. He's saying God, if it's your, no, no. If your will, if God is here inside, me. but I know it's not your will. Help me out to understand. No, give help, me the help me out to understand. Yeah. If God is here within this flesh, yeah. and that but flesh, that's the humanness of him that he please, was fear, please, please. he felt the fear, he felt everything else. Listen, that's how much he was a human. That that God who is here now in the flesh. Yeah. Is speaking to God over there because they're unified. They're unified. He says, "I don't do anything in my own, in my own authority." So, which God in that flesh? Which God? Yeah. God, God the Son. So it was God the Son in the flesh. Yeah. 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 So now you are saying God the Son can be contained in a human flesh. God, I don't know if it was his entire essence, but he was. God can do anything. Why can't Look, he do that? Possibly. Why can't he do that? It was his entire essence, a part of his essence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any indication that it was his entire essence I in the Bible? Sure. I'm not sure. I just know it's God the Son. The Word. He was born as a flesh. He was born as a man. And so you have. Must be his whole, so you must have be the whole Word. So you, yeah. But the same flesh mm. is speaking, not to anyone else, saying, "I'm there in heaven as well." Right. No one else is there to listen. It's only God that can hear it. God the Father that can hear it. Where's the Holy Spirit? The, or the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Where is it? One of the seats. Where was the Holy Spirit? It's around wherever God told him to be. Okay. Yeah. So you ha you believe in a God. Yeah. Holy Spirit is all around. Not always it's all around. At that time with Jesus. Yeah. It's not the case that he was always all around. Do you see the same Do you see the same picture in the day uh, hereafter? Wait, sorry. Where God is like this? Where, where? How when do we you, die, when we die. How, how do you imagine God in heaven? When the world come to an end and there's a day of judgment, people are in heaven and hell. How do I know for a fact my imagination mm. cannot comprehend the wholeness of According God. to the scripture, yeah. not your imagination. Yeah, but there's, 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 which, what, what do you want to know then? So how, how do you, do you yeah. see this my life God is described? Heaven, my life no, God is described yeah. how he is in heaven. It's totally unified. So Father, what Son, Holy mean? Spirit, it's like, it's like, look, it's like this, yeah? Your mind, body and soul, yeah? Uh -huh. Is that all you? Your mind, is that you? Okay. Is when I saw you and uh, your body is you um, and you're unified. Very yeah? important question. But we're made. One no. second, let me finish it. Okay, okay. then I'll yeah. answer it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That just like that, we're made in this image though. Yeah. So we're just like a small fraction of likeness of what God is. So if we, mind, body, and soul, to whatever extent, we're not even that unified. Our my body wants one thing, my mind wants one thing, my soul wants one thing, yeah? But God is totally perfectly unified they don't contradict each other they don't argue with each other they don't do anything the son doesn't say i want to do this today and go off before he does anything he first confirms it within within himself mind body and soul or is it unified and as a total confirmed unit they do everything you understand? and when it says god god so, um hero israel our lord our god is one that word one is unified it means unified not one as in one unit mm -hmm. one perfectly united and that is why god can talk to himself and that's why he spoke to himself in that sense to do things in that unity that unity that he kept even while he was on earth he kept that unity mm. that perfect unity of working together and then he was sacrificed so when he came to earth he didn't stop talking to the father he didn't say oh i'm gonna go do this i know what to do i'm gonna go do it on my own he still kept that relationship and that's why you see in the word that him talking to the father and the father talking back yeah. to him and even the holy spirit there so in heaven mm. How do you describe, how do you see God being described in heaven? I there's don't a, see him there, in my imagination. No, in the scripture. In the scripture. Do you see God sitting on a throne and then on his right hand side, 
uh, his son and the Holy Spirit hovering around? He's on his throne. He's on his throne. Jesus on his throne. So go, but on many occasions, he's not going to just be sitting on the throne. Sure, all sure, the time. sure. So you see the Father and the there's, Son there's in the throne. There's verses that say Jesus will wipe away your tears. Yeah. So at that point, he's not sitting on yeah, the throne. Yeah. So basically, you know I mean? so basically, you believe in a God who is more than one. No. One. But they are unified. Unified. He's totally unified as one. Okay. Yeah. When we say one football team, yeah. how many football team do we say? One team. One team. And how many players? Many. How many players is different. You never right. ask me how many players. Right. You ask me how many so, teams. Right. So one team. That's one so, team. So God, you believe, is like God one is team. Better than that team. You so, can't compare him to so that basically, team. He's unified so, than that so basically, team. you believe. Unified than that so team. basically, you Imagine believe. Imagine a football team that had one mind, one, you know what I mean? And they were so unified that they just knew yeah. each other. So, and they could talk to each other, but they knew so each other. So in your belief, yeah. God. Is it one team of several gods? No, no, I never even mentioned team. You're saying team, yeah? God is one being. Yeah? When you say unified, it Total means... Unified. When you say unified, it as means one, one. As one. No, no, when you say... Uni Fo one football team is one. 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 No, Not two. One person. Are you one wait, person? Wait, wait, wait. Are you one person? I'm one, one person. person. But huh? have you got a mind? Huh? Have you got a mind? When you say, I have, have I got... Have you got a brain or a mind or whatever you want to call it? Slow down. When you yeah. say, have I got... Yeah, have you got a mind? Slow down. When I say have I, who is this I? Have you, yourself? No, no. Who is this I you. that has a body or a soul? Who is this I? No, 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 no. Who is this I? I, look. What is this I? No. What is this I? When I, okay, let me break it down for you. Yeah. When I say I have a body, right? Yeah. I have a body. Yeah. Who is this I talking? You in it? What's your name, sorry? No, 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 no. no. When I what? say. Do you mean what? As in, are you a human being? No. You mean that you are a human when being? When I say. Yeah. I have a body yeah. or I have a soul. Mm. What is this I? What is it? It's a human being. What is it? I don't understand. You tell me. Look, you look. Tell me. You tell me. When, I, when I say I have a coat, that you know the I and the coat is not the same. The I and the coat. This coat, oh, coat. Yeah, yeah. and I. I have a coat doesn't mean I am the coat. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. When I say I have a body mm. and I have a soul. Mm. So when I say I have a body, who is this I? Because it's not definitely the body. So who is it? Oh, so you're saying when you're who's speaking? Is it your soul No, not speaking. speaking. Is it your who, is this speaking? who is this I? Who is this I? Then when I say, speaking? then when I say I have a soul, definitely it's not there's the soul. There's a lot of things coming into it. Let me answer wait. your question. When okay. I ask you, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of things coming into it. Your mind is saying, how shall I answer? Your heart is saying, how shall I answer? But I would like an yeah? answer. Your flesh is saying, how no, shall I answer? I have a mind. No. Yeah, I have a mind. three aspects. No, I have a mind. Yeah. I have a soul. Yeah. And I have a body. Who is this I? This whole totally unified person of mind, body, and soul no. becomes this one person who is you. If it was a whole unified thing, then I couldn't say I have one because it would be it's me, me, the body, me, yeah, the soul. So your brain but is the me, fact, yeah? the, the fact, no, the brain is not me. Okay, so what is it's it? a part of it. Okay. So when I say I have a body, yeah. who is this I? Your tongue. <laughs> no, it's not my tongue. To so <laughs> that is why that is yeah. why you need to understand when you say unification something. Yeah. So when you say God is unified, mm. he is not one. Mm. He is a but you're telling me, unity. You're telling me, contrary to what see, the Bible says, I let you speak. I let you speak when I want to speak. You, you need to allow. Thank you. Yeah. You believe mm. in a unity of three gods mm. in one family. Okay. Family that consists of father, son, and someone else called the Holy Spirit. That's, that's how it might look to you. It Hang might on. look like that to you. When, but when I told when you, you that's have, what I think. Okay. Yeah. When the Father says, not the Father. When in Isaiah it says, I alone am God and there is none else besides me. Who is this I and me? That unified one, God. No, that unified God. Who is speaking? The unified God. That unified God. Do you find, God. do you find yeah. that it's possible to think this way? The Father speaks, the Son speaks, the Holy Spirit speaks, and the Trinity as an agent, the fourth entity speaks. No, fourth entity. No, no. The Trinity is not the Father, Trinity is not the Son, Trinity is not the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's like so, me saying, well, again, yeah? That's like, if that's not, if that's not the case, yeah? If that's not the case, yeah, sorry, yeah? Is that I, your brain is not you, your heart is not you, yeah? Your soul is not you, yeah? No. It's not you and no. not part of you, yeah? There's a difference between yeah. me and part of me. Yeah, so that's like, so, that's so, like God. So, no, for you, it's a difference, no, no. yeah? Take this analogy and tell no, me, no, 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 no. is the Father why, part of why, God? But that's why we don't say Jesus is God on his own. 
or vines or, or the entire God. God. He's he's the, the part of God. He is one part of the God, yes. One so, part of God. so the Father is a part of God? Yes, one aspect okay. of God. No, no, I'm one asking you. Of it. Yeah, one part, part. He's not right, the entire right. God by himself, no. Now understand that. Yes. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Can you see the. My arm, leg, and leg. You know, yeah. just visualize it. Yeah. The Father is a part of God. Yeah. Together, that they make one God. Yeah, well, they make one God. Yeah. How much of God is the Father if He's a part of God? I don't know. You have to. That's when you go ask Him, but He's not revealed that. He did not think that was, that was necessary okay. for you to know. Let's, let's, yeah. let's examine that. Mm. Is the part greater than the whole, less than the whole, or equal to the whole? Whole as in W H O L E. These are all technical questions, yeah. If you that's found a out, simple if question. If you found out, yeah. If you found out mm. that the parts are split, okay. split. Let in, me help let you. Me, let me help you out, yeah. If it's split into one, two, three quarters, mm -hmm. Baba, and one quarter split between Jesus and the Son, uh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. what difference does that make to you? Okay. So let. Is this so you're gonna help me? To right. Your salvation. Let, right. Yeah. Your arm and your leg and your head. Mm. Let's take these three yeah. parts. Yeah. Is your arm equal to your body or no, part less than, your body. Body. less than your body? How can it be less than more? Is it about real? No, 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 more, sorry. Less, less than the whole, right? Yeah, less than your the body whole. is yeah. the whole yeah. and your arm is a part of it. Yeah. Your arm is less than the whole, right? No. Is it in the value, in size, in mass, what are you talking about? Your arm less, when you say less when it comes to value, when it comes to parts and whole. Okay, in size your, or your, in value. When it comes to parts and whole. Parts, parts and whole. Parts. Okay. A part, a, a part yeah, of a whole, arm is a whole arm. as you know, as yeah. you're an intelligent person, you yeah. know that very well. Yeah. A part of a thing is not the same well, as the I whole thing. Say, listen, a steering wheel out of a car is a part of a car, but on its is own, it the it's whole? still a whole steering wheel. By itself, it's still a whole steering wheel. Is it wheel, the whole car? It's part of a car. Is it the whole car? But, no, it's not a whole car. Right. It's a whole steering wheel. Is it a whole steering wheel, though? That's is what I'm whole, that's but, what is it, but is it a whole steering wheel? Yes. Okay. But that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, asking car, is, I'm, asking is, I'm asking is. I'm asking is. Jesus. I'm asking to use this. Mm -hmm. The one God is the Trinity. Yeah. The Father is a part of that Trinity. Yeah. The one God mm -hmm. is when they're together, yeah. all three. Unified, perfect. The Father on its own, on his own, yeah. cannot be one God. Yeah, no. So he's not one God. What do you mean he's not one God? He cannot be one God because he's part of this one God. Yeah, he's part of that one God. So he's yeah. not one God. He, on his own, he's not God by himself. No, he's not one God. Because I don't, one I don't God. Know what you're trying to say. He's not I am one God. trying to that's say not, something that is that's simple. Not, it's not, it's not, the one not, God not, that you believe in is. Sentence. The, not one, the one God mm -hmm. is the Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. The Father is not the God. Trinity. No, it's not. So the Father is not the one God. It's not the one God, no. The Son is not the one God. No. So how much of God are they? One God. Or how much? What percentage? What percentage? What percentage? I don't know, man. Remember. I can't give you percentage in um, this thing, yeah? Because this is not what's important. That's one, why the Bible doesn't One third? Right. One third? Most like, I'm not sure. It could be one third, but I don't right. think it's like that. Think it's about like, that. Okay. It's like, it's like this, Okay, yeah? maybe, maybe, They're okay. They're totally unified. Okay. They think... don't need to, I don't need to split now, something that's unified. Now think about this. In my this. head, yeah. Now why think am about I trying this. to split something that is now unified? Now think about this. God has never talked to himself or now, expressed that he will split. Now think about this. But who wants to split it? You okay. Now God does not expect himself to Sure, be sure. Now so think about this. Unified as well. Before before New Testament was in existence, yeah. the books that the Jewish people have, it says there in one of their books on the scripture. God is saying, I am God. Before me there was no God form. Yeah. After me there will be no good God form. Yeah. I alone am God and there is none else. Yeah. This particular God, using the word I and me is exclusively claiming that he is the only God. Yeah. Who is he? The unified God of Yahweh, the one that spoke to Moses. The unified name. God doesn't speak. Why? How do you know that? The Trinity, yeah. the Trinity yeah. does not exist. It's a concept. But wait, you're saying the unified God does not speak based on what? Sorry? Are you saying now? Okay, that's why I'm asking you. Yeah. Is it either the Father speaks. Why? The, um, why is it let, me, let me finish the point yeah, and yeah. then you can tell me where I'm going wrong. You have the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. and you have the together the Godhead or the Trinity. Yeah. So, do you find anywhere an indication that the Trinity can also speak? The Trinity can speak. Yeah. But the Trinity being God. Yeah. No, the but Trinity in, in our, is in my just. Christian belief, I believe the Trinity is God. So therefore, the Trinity can speak because God can speak. Within the Trinity, when the Trinity speaks, are you saying? 
Just like the Father speaks, the Trinity can also speak. As one. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. So when you say this the is Trinity, this is something you have to think about. Father, you're thinking, before you answer, you're thinking you need to think. The Father speaking and Jesus speaking and the Holy Spirit. You need to think yeah. before you answer. The Father speaks. We yeah. need all in the Old Testament. Yeah. The Son speaks, yeah. according to the Christian belief, after the New Testament. Yeah. I don't know if the Holy Spirit yeah. speaks or not. Yeah. Right? Maybe it does. Right? Okay. Do you also find that the Trinity speaks also? Yes. So when the Trinity speaks, it's not the Father speaking or the Holy Spirit speaking or the Son speaking, but the Trinity itself speaks. What is the Trinity? Trinity is just an abstract notion to describe the unification. I'm telling you, it's just an abstract concept to describe the God, which is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unified. Yeah. Trinity, one name for Trinity, 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 name for the Father, Son, Trinity the as an entity, yeah. Trinity as an entity or a being or a person doesn't exist. It's just the concept to describe that those three persons Unified. working together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that thing that doesn't exist in reality cannot speak. Trinity cannot speak because it doesn't exist. Trinity is just a title. The title. Yes. So, so it's cannot that, speak. It's like saying, can king speak? So the, a king can speak, but king can't speak. And so you agree you with me say. now? So you're so, trying to say, can the word... So, Speak by itself. So, like getting a so now, dictionary out. So now you realize. So now you realize yeah. the Trinity doesn't speak because it's not an entity. It's not a person or it's not a being. It's God the Father. So, we know so when when God is God someone sorry, when God. someone speaks yeah. and it says God is speaking, it's yeah. either the Father it or the Son. Either. It so cannot be the Trinity. Well, what I'm saying is, yeah. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. They're unified as one. Just one second. But one as second. they're unified as one, one that one just, can speak. Just one second. But do you agree? Just one second. When God said, let there be... No, not this. When God said, I am going to send my Son. Yeah. Who's speaking? The Son speaking? Unified? When does God say, I'm going to send my Son? In the Bible, yeah. I'm just paraphrasing, right? Yeah. Correct me if I'm mistaken. God so loved right, the world. You know what he God says? so what he loved the world. Isaiah is that I will send myself. You get me? That's what he says. Something along those words. I will send myself is what he says. Yeah. So that's the answer to the question. Where does it say, say that? He doesn't say I will send. Where does it say that? It's somewhere in Isaiah. I can't tell you at the top. Of um, I don't somewhere. think it does say that. So it that's does, why we need does. to. No, so you need to pull I'm it up. I'm pretty sure it does say that in Isaiah. Yeah. And I'm, I will send, I'm pretty sure and, it doesn't. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think it's uh, David. Somewhere, somewhere in David in the Psalms. No. Yeah, in the Psalms he says something like, "My Lord." When David speaks, he says, mm -hmm. "My Lord said to my Lord," you know, something like that. So this has like, nothing to do with what we're discussing. But, well, anyway, the first point when he says, when he says, that, when he says, "I am God and there is none else," who is this speaking? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When I, he says, "I am God and there is none else," yeah, who's speaking between the these three? God. No, unified. the unified God doesn't speak. Why? How do you know? I that? just told you. But the unified God. You said the Trinity word Trinity doesn't speak, but I'm saying the unified God. Look, when you say the unified God, okay, for example, there is no such thing as a unified God as a being or a person. Well, you, you don't sound like a Muslim because obviously Muslims Excuse believe me. that your God is unified, right? In the Bible, <laughs> in the Bible, in the Bible, yeah, there is no person. No, you're playing games, brother. I'm there is no you, person called yeah. a unified God. There is no person, but there is a unified God, right? No. So there is no unified, according to you, there might no, be no, not, but I believe there is no, a unified when you say there is a, When you say in the Bible, there is a unified God. Okay, is there a contradiction within your God? I don't understand what you're saying. Is there a contradiction? With, does he ever contradict himself? Or, 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 of course or, or, not. Okay, of course so not. is he unified in his thoughts? No, unified okay. is okay. not, so not, not that's not unified. He is one. You, one. Are you, you, are, you are asking, brother, you are asking, is he consistent yeah. in his or is he, speech? Is he, thought, is he, thought is he consistent? Not. Yes. He's not consistent because I can say not unified. No consistent. Do you know what different. unification means? Yes, yeah, right? We can be, be all one. unified as yeah. one yeah. team, yeah. So as one no group. Within us. You understand? There's no arguments between us. We're all unified in what we're thinking, what we're uh, doing. No, no. Yeah? And that's the same aspect Brother, with God. Me. One second. And the same aspect with God that He doesn't have. These, uh, these, Jesus doesn't say, you know what? Persons. I want to go preach in Africa, and God say, no, no, you go preach in India, and the Holy Spirit say, no, no, go speak in uh, some okay. other uh, country. Yeah. That's not what's happening. They're unified in what they think. So when He says, He didn't say to number one. In so the they Bible, can't disagree. In the Bible. Are you one, saying they are not able to disagree? They, they don't need to disagree. They can't. Okay, my. The question is, are they able to disagree? If they wanted to, yeah, but there is no benefit. One second, one second. There's no benefit. Of let's slow, slowly, let's understand this principle. You have the Father, yeah. who is... Wait, 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 slow down now. Yeah. You have the Father who is 
Almighty, who is absolute, yeah. is he able to disagree with the sun? Is he able to? Yeah. Yeah, he can if he wants to. Right. But he doesn't want to. I'm asking whether he's able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So when they don't disagree, when they're both able to disagree, what stops them from disagreeing? The fact that they're unified and they're perfect, they don't need to disagree. Okay. Because they are who, good. What made them to not disagree? Yeah, that's the Were they forced? That's the that's Were the they forced? No, Were they willingly? The that is the nature of the God. The choice they made. God doesn't contradict himself. Listen, the choice not to disagree with each other was this by necessity or by willing choice? That's his nature. That's his nature. That's why I'm saying, oh, did you, did you, like, it's just his nature. He's his love. nature. Like, his, his nature is to love. You understand? Right. Yeah. So that's his nature that he So God's nature is to agree he, and the good thing. Okay. Man. So contradicting okay. arguments Fine. and stuff. Let me let me let me give you a scenario. Yeah. God, in your belief the Father, yeah. wants to lift this leaf yeah. from the floor yeah. one meter high. Is he able to do that? No way is he. He Excuse won't me. want it by Excuse himself. Me. He won't want listen, it until listen, he listen, agrees. Listen, God, listen. There's listen, a, there's a problem I haven't your, finished. Your I haven't problem. finished. Let me finish first. If he wants to let, let lift this leaf from the floor one meter high, is he able to do that? Are you finished? No. Is he able, first of all? No, no, finish and then I'll answer it. Because when I'm answering, you're going to tell me you're not finished. Okay. Either he's able or he's not able. Secondly, the same leaf, the sun wants to lift it two meter high. Is he able to do that? And then, I'm going to ask you, each one of them have their will. And they want to lift one meter high and two meter high. Where is the lift going to be, uh, leaf going to be lifted up to? One meter or two meter? I finished my question. Okay, wicked. So like I said, he does not contradict himself. He does not have any, any, uh, I want this and you want that and they want that. So we have an issue here. That, that scenario does not come across in our unified God, in my unified God. Yeah, That God perfectly agrees all the time. So he doesn't have any wants. He doesn't do anything on his own authority. He hasn't got a want that's not the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit want. They all want the same thing at the same time. That's what it means to be unified in the thing. So when your example, he wants mm -hmm. one, wants one meter, one, wants two, one, wants three, that can't, that won't happen because they all want the same thing. But they have different wills. No, they don't have different wills. In the sense, they will agree with each other. Yeah, yes. but this is about... So they agree. This is about... Agrees. That doesn't agree. This so is that's not the will of God. What about agreement? This is about the father... Yeah, wanting one thing and someone else, uh, the son wanting something else. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't happen in these things. Why not? Because, because they agree. They're perfectly unified. So when you say they agree, they compromise. No, then they're perfectly unified. Hang on, hang on. When you say they agreed, are you saying the father cannot will this leaf from the floor to come up one meter high? He's unable to no, do that. Own, not his own. He so he's, not so, so that means he just, he that means unified listen with his son perfectly so, so he, he is not do anything in his so own he is not almighty himself. of course he is almighty so he can but lift it up to one meter high as a unified circle wait, as the father son and holy wait spirit, a minute yes, they can. so the father wants to lift this leaf one meter high yeah. he is almighty he should be able to do that so you're, in your scenario mm -hmm. the father is now in in a conflict with the son and the holy spirit but he's but, almighty right but that scenario can't happen. You're Hang asking on. for a scenario. So basically, can it be nighttime and daytime wait, wait. on the same spot at the same time? That's precisely why <laughs> polytheism or tritheism is irrational. No. Now you realize. No, I mean, no, I hope no, you, no, you no, reflect on it. Me, because I've now, told you they don't, now, they, don't, listen. they don't disagree with each other like listen. that. Your scenario so now is you not going to happen. So now you, you have a concept of God where the Father cannot do that because it will be in conflict with the Son. Because they are always unified listen. and always agree. What? They will agree. Wait, to where wait, is wait, the best wait. Place when you say they agree, God. it's yeah. because they compromise Why, their all, all, all almighty nature. If they agree, they compromise. Sorry, go ahead. How does that work? The father wants look. Can I ask a question? Yeah. You know when you know you know when it's yeah. in terms of agreement, yeah? yeah? Yeah. How many people does it take to agree something? Go on, go ahead. You huh? How many people does it take to agree something? People, okay, so so the father and the son are two, two separate beings, yeah? They're one unified being. No, but you know, you've got to, to come to agreement, you have to have someone else to agree with. They're a unified being. No, you can't. It's, 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 it's not too more now, isn't it? It's not. Of course it is. They're unified as one. Oh, you can't agree with yourself. Okay, let's move on. Okay. The father 
Is he eternal without a beginning? So prior to him, there was no one in existence. He always existed. Yeah? So the father existed without a beginning. Think about it. He existed without a beginning. He always existed. Did anyone give him knowledge? Did anyone give him power? No? Okay. What about the son? Did he also exist without a beginning? Did anyone give him knowledge and power? No? Right. So the father is eternal, all knowledgeable, almighty, all powerful. The son is eternal, knowledgeable, almighty. How is the father, the son of the, how is the father, father of the other, and the son, son of the other, when both have no beginning? That's just the title. The title. You're thinking of a son that's born just like something else. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a who, title. within this hierarchy of three persons and one being, who is higher in authority? None. According to the Bible, it's the father. According where, to you, maybe none. Where, where but in the Bible? Jesus throughout, he says, my father is greater than I. That's that and, and not only that, in the day of judgment, he will do everything and then give everything back to God. So God can be God of all. So the father is always in a hierarchy position in the my position of authority. According to the Bible. The head of Christ is God, according to the Bible. So the Bible throughout... God is Christ. Yes, is head of Christ is God. Sorry if, yeah. I, if, if I said no, opposite. Right. The head of Christ is God. Yeah. yeah? The head of no, no, woman no, no, is man. Is they, like I said, they totally unified. At that point. Listen, it's not about unification anymore. Earth, when Jesus now we're talking earth, about roles. But you're talking about a different scenario. When I'm Jesus talking about earth, now in their heavenly existence. When, they were, when Jesus was in on the earth, it was a different scenario. Before the universe yeah, was told, created. Okay. Before the universe unified. was created. The Father sent the Son. Or the son sent the father? Where? Who, who sent who? There was, before the earth was created, there was nowhere to know what to be sent. So when the decision was made to send, who was making the decision? There were unified decisions. But who is sending who? The father is sending. Yeah, He's so in charge. No, it's not always the case. It's because if I agree to do something... For my, do you find for my anything work? in the entire Bible where the father takes the command from the son and says, I'll do that because you say so? Or always the father is in the authority? Position of authority. No, that's like saying, look, that's basically this guy. He is basically saying, yeah, someone has to do the thing. Someone has to do it. You understand? Yeah. So that's the role of Jesus' word at that point. Was Remember what? Okay. To get just to settle, achieved, this, settle, to get achieved, yeah? settle this matter. Just to settle this matter. It doesn't mean just no, no, because he did I want, something for him. I want to settle this mean, matter. Doesn't mean when that Jesus I, said, "Let this cup be away from me, yeah. not according to my will, but according to whose will." To the Father's will. Yeah. So, whose will is now being the will of authority? He's saying that your, like, your will be done at that point. So, whose will? Whose will? No, no, no. No, no. no. It's not about. Point, he was being a human being. You see, you know that very well. Yeah, kind of. You know that very well. Yeah. The will he's that he's. The unified God. The God. will yeah. that he's speaking yeah. is not the will of a human. He's speaking about. Yeah, he's talking the about will. the Father's will. That will. Will, and his that, will. That, yeah. Not as a human, so but as a person. Exactly, because his will at that point was right. that he was in fear of the Wait, crucifixion. Whose but, will? But the, what was God's will? God's will was for Jesus right. to die. So yeah. when it comes to the issues of will. Yeah, so he said, my fleshly will. Let it not, it's not about your, fleshly will. But it is, it's not about fleshly will. Because before that, when he was in the Last Supper, he was all up for How many wills does Jesus have? But listen to me. At the uh, no, Last clarify, Supper, clarify. How many wills does he have? I don't know, I have to go ask Jesus, the person, like does one. he have two wills? One human will and one divine will? Or does he have he one has, will? Look, at that point, Can you clarify that? Will. Look, does God get scared? Does Can God get scared? According in Christianity, to you, yes. No, according to you. In Christianity, according yes. To Islam, does he happen? Uh, no. No, exactly, yeah. Same thing to us, yeah. God doesn't get scared. But in that field, in that point, at that point, he was a fleshly person. You get me? He had to experience all the things of a no, human not being. Not according to the Bible. According to the Bible, God got so scared that people were building in the land of Shinar in the east skyscrapers, tall skyscrapers. And God says, what? Man has unified? Come together? Speak the same language? And building tall towers? Are oh, you talking about Tower Nothing. Of Babel? Let me finish. Tower of Babel, Nothing about. will be impossible for them to yeah. do what they imagine to do. So That's God comes fear. down. So God comes down. That's not fear. Though. Let me tell you what it says. Yeah. God comes down and he confuses them so they scattered all around. Yeah. 
What so was he doing? Go, I won't point out well, the no, no. What, what, what was God doing then because man was doing? What was he? He was stopping human beings. Was he concerned? Well, yeah, he was concerned. And with, human beings are was going he afraid? to glorify themselves. Was he afraid? As God. No, he wasn't. So what so, would, okay, according to the belief at that time, yeah. building four skyscrapers, what would you can, what can you do by going and building high, tall buildings? They, they themselves, they thought, what? they thought that they are going to now do anything they want. By anything being, mean, including what? Overthrowing God they think and that, killing God. No, no, no. no. Yes. God was not in fear of them killing God. But what? Yes? That's what? That's, that's what, what they believe. But they thought they can do all sorts no, no, of stuff. No, that's what they believe. And the thing though. was, the issue was, yeah, the fact, the fact, that human beings are built in God's image, made in God's image and His likeness. Yeah. So we have the ability. Like we, a man or a woman. Man, man, yeah. Not as man, a woman. As a woman, woman's made in man's image, yeah, in Adam out of Adam, right. which so, is also God's image, but a little bit of. Uh, so women are secondary, version. secondary, no, no, right? No, just because woman God, is made from man, the the, a man the image that, image. according to you, yeah. man is the image of God and not the woman. No, 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 no. Listen to me, yeah. Man, as in, because when Jesus comes, he comes as a man. When God comes down as a person, he comes down as a man. So we yeah. say, so man is always greater than the woman the in Christianity. No, that's not what we're saying. That's why it may be the conclusion in Islam, but that's not the conclusion. No, no, in Islam has nothing to do with this image. But, but God making, looks like a man or a woman. A dumb conclusion. That's not the conclusion. You, that you, you are the, telling. That is not so, the logical okay. conclusion to come. So from when that Jesus said, yeah. "O our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, yeah. thy will be done." Yeah. Whose will be done? Whose will be done? Yeah, according to Jesus, he's saying, thy will he's be done. Saying, at that point, so according he's, to Jesus, you're taking it out of context, my friend. Yeah, oh, he's context. saying, he's saying, when you pray, yeah, pray like this. Uh huh. Yeah, and so pray to who? He's not saying. He's pray not to saying, who? He's, yeah, but pray he's to saying, who? Our Father who are in heaven. So you yeah. pray to one who is in heaven, yeah. who he identifies as the Father. Well, who does he say? Pray in my name. Does he not what? say pray in my name? Not there, definitely well, not. Not there, but he does say. Oh, hang on, hang on. We are talking about yeah. the very crucial we point he's teaching. Don't just follow one verse. At hang on, the teaching so about the prayer. Eight, so let's wrap it up. Yeah? Okay, yeah. yeah. So he's saying, mm. whose will be done? Okay. Not the yeah. will of the Son yeah. or the Holy Spirit. Pardon, sorry. The will that yeah. should be done is yeah. not the will of the Holy Spirit or the Son. Which will at what point? When Jesus is saying, this is, pray, this is how you should pray. This is how you should pray. Oh, yeah. Father, what in okay. heaven? Yeah. Whose will be done? And during, on that prayer, yeah. yeah, it says the Father's will. Right. Yeah. So Jesus is teaching the will mm. that you should follow is whose will? The Father's will, the Son's will, the Holy Spirit's will. No, he's not saying follow the will. He's saying let your will be done, but it's the Father. Who's yeah? the Father's will? Yeah, yeah. So Jesus is identifying the Father's will. Mm. But Jesus you know, also goes, says, yeah, that he and the Father are one. One what? Are one. One what? One. Okay, we are one. one we are one. one. How are we one? Yeah, we are one group. We are one group. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. So, did Jesus but say one? One person. One. One unified. person? Yeah. Unified. So, in Trinity, how many persons are there? I'm not sure about persons and all these kinds of words. You just said person. These kind of words and all that kind of stuff. Because someone's going to tell me it's not a word. What's a person? Right. They can identify right. a person as that. That's what, uh, if you have read so, the mean, Bible, God, if you have God, read, God, Son, and the Holy if you have read the Bible, you've realized. I've read the whole Bible. Yeah. He actually says to the disciples, you will be also one with us. Yeah. So they are one God too. Not, not really. But That's what he meant. In context. You have to look at it in context. I am giving you the context. Yeah, but he's looking at it in context. No, no, so I am giving you the context. When he says to... Do you know something? Says, when he says, yeah, to um, one of his disciples who says to him, show us the Father. He says, yeah. if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. these are the lot of points that he's yeah. making. So do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah. When you have a statement, I'm wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, me too, yeah. me too, because I have to go. Um, yeah. When you have a statement, Jesus saying, "I am the Father of One," and He also says, "Somewhere else, yeah. you can, you are also one with us." So you would you say, have to "Understand their language." Can That's I? Can I? Can I make my point first, right? Can I make my point? When "I am the Father of One" is used. It's quite vague. It doesn't say one what. Do you agree? No, but if you look at... Do you agree no, on that no, no. particular verse? No, no. It doesn't say one God or one will, one flesh, one team. It doesn't say that. So, but when, you take it in when context, we take it in when, context, yeah. like the Muslims always put that in context to the Christians. No, well, all Muslims always put it in context. No, no. Yeah. The Muslims on this particular verse... Okay. Bring the context. Not, honest, the context the is job to the context, context is. Us. Unfortunately, this yeah. is what happens in, in, you know in a Christian happens, Muslim you know dialogue. Is, yeah? Can I finish the my point? Can I, can I finish my point? Right? Language, yeah. Can I finish my yeah. point? Right. Mm. So when he says elsewhere, just as I and the Father are one. Mm. So he's referring to the oneness that he spoke before. Yeah. yeah. Just as I and the Father are one, mm. he then says, "You will also be one with us." Yeah, yeah, 
So now yeah. we see what is called the context. Yeah. So if he is now saying you the disciples, all the believers can be one with the Father, it cannot refer to one in divinity. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, of course. It's not right. one in divinity. Right. But so when you said... the Father are one in divinity. No. Yeah, but the disciples can't okay. be one in divinity. Okay, hear me what? Because we have to all go. Yeah. Two statements. Yeah. I, Jesus is saying, I am the Father are one, mm -hmm. and you understand that to be in divinity. Yeah. Okay. The same Jesus says, a little bit later, mm -hmm. just as I am the Father are one, mm -hmm. which oneness is he referring to? One. The oneness he spoke earlier. About the Father and Him. Honest, I need to read that verse again. You should. I should I John should read it. 17, but, 22. But I will read it in context. Yeah. No, no. But I'm pretty sure because obviously it contradicts what you're you know saying. What? It contradicts everything you will, else you will be amazed yeah. to see how the Christians have been guilty of taking things out of context. And, and, mm. and you will be pleased to hear and know that the Muslims are putting this verse in it's context. Not, it's, not, it's, not the case. it's not the case. We will see. Why, why you will did see. You, why did I would you, love to hear. Ask you this, yeah. why you did come back crucify? once again. Why did Listen, they crucify one second, one second, one second. Why did they crucify Jesus? I would love to hear. You come, back, you come back next week or the yeah. week after. Well, it doesn't say, reading the two enough, verses enough, in context. Will, will, will. Right? Because you will realize yeah. and you will come and tell all the Christians no Why way, no did way. you take Jesus this out of context? God. Jesus is God, guys. Bah, 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 bah. God what? Yeah, God Almighty. God and He's the Savior, Messiah, Savior, Lamb of God, everything else. Yeah? But let me ask is you. He, is He independent? Question. No, He's not independent. Yeah? But Can you believe in a God who is dependent? He's unified. He's not dependent. Okay, yeah? let me ask you again. Oh my is the Father dependent yeah. on the Son to make Him God alone? Okay, let me ask you this, yeah? Why did the Jews kill Jesus? <laughs> They did not kill Jesus. They but why failed did they to want kill him. him. Why did they want him? Okay, according to according to the yeah. New Testament. Okay, according to why did they want to put him on the cross? Excellent. Why did they Very want good to question. Yeah. According to the Jewish understanding, Jewish. According to the Jewish understanding, yeah. God doesn't become a man and claim to be God. Okay, so they so came anyone, and blasphemed, right? Wait, wait, slowly. Mm. According to their teaching, mm. that is now with them, transmitted with them, mm. God is not going to become a man and claim to God, right? Do you understand yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Anyone that. who says, yeah. being a man, I'm God, yeah. they have the right, divine right from so you, God. So you believe let that me, Jesus said that? Let me and that's finish. Why they let did me it. finish. Yeah. Hear this yeah, other side of the story. Any human being which claims to be God, yeah. the Jewish people have the divine right given to them in their court of law yeah. to take that person and punish that person. Yeah. Because God doesn't come as a human being and say, I'm God. But the problem is this, this, you as Christians think that God prophesies that he's going to come no, down. No, you never answered the question, why did the Jews kill him? Let, let me yeah. finish my point. Mm. Many Christians, mm. in, perhaps including you, mm. think mm. that God is going to come down as a man and then claim that I am God on earth. Contrary mm. to what the teaching that these people have with them. Because with them is, no person can come as a human being and say I'm God, they should Try that person, put the charge of blasphemy and kill that person. Okay. So is that what they did to Jesus? That's what they're trying to do. So is that what they did to Jesus? No, no. Is that why they did that to Jesus? Finish my point. Yeah. They were trying to, but when Jesus was questioned, mm -hmm. he refuted them. Yeah. That I did not blaspheme. Mm -hmm. In fact... So why did they scream blasphemy? Can I finish my point? Yeah. They said a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They said he was a demon-possessed madman. Mm -hmm. Do you accept their accusation? Exactly. Mm. So when they said, you are blaspheming because you make yourself God, mm. why do you take that accusation? You should because say... he did not say, no, no, I'm not blaspheming at that point. Look, look. What did he say at Do you remember what he said? What? Is it not written in your law that you are gods? He said, and the scripture cannot be broken. No, but but I only said... That's a different verse. You're talking about wait, that happened wait, somewhere listen, else. Listen, listen, listen. That happened way before. When... What he's talking about is that you are called Elohim, yeah? Okay. So how much more should you call my, my me friend, my being friend. the son of God? No, my friend, listen. Was there a time when Jewish people came to Jesus wanted to stone him for blasphemy. Yeah. What was the Jew, uh, Jesus' response? At that point, what you're talking about... No, no. The point... There's many points, so I'm, I'm talking gonna, about... I'm going to give, give you one at a time. I'm give me an example time. when so they came... Example, the example that you pulled up, where they yep. were going to stone him. Yeah. Let's listen to the shirt. Just wrap it up. Okay. So, so, so what we're saying is... Think about something. A God 
that is independent. No, but what are the point that was going We're to trying to wrap up. Oh, sorry, sorry, bro. We're trying to wrap up. Okay, okay. Yeah? Well, what, what my, I, yeah. My, my, my last statement. Don't tell me about what I would do, bro. No, yeah? my last I'll, statement. I'll, let's talk about you know, look, what you would do. My about, last yeah? statement, and you make your last statement. I'm yeah. saying yeah. your heart and your mind would know that you would not never worship a tripod or a light or a fence. Can I finish my point? Because otherwise we're not going to wrap up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You would know that the one who is worthy of worship yeah. is the one who is absolute. Yeah. One who doesn't compromise. The one who is independent. The one who is eternal. The one who is almighty. The one who is not dependent on anyone to tell him what to do. This is what we are saying and inviting you to. Worship God who is independent. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. If you find in your belief there's a God who is not self-sufficient, you should re-examine your faith. Yeah, but my God is. Okay? Right. Do you have to say anything? Otherwise, we um, end this discussion and yeah, it was nice. Fine. Pleasure so, speaking yeah, to you and we talk again. Yeah? Right, cool. Take care.